I'm Mike Hart. Here's what's making news on Thanksgiving. Bakersfield police looking into a shooting that injured two people in South Bakersfield. Officers were called out to a mobile home park on South Chester just before 4 o'clock this morning. They say a man and woman have both been shot. They were taken to the hospital with what were called minor to moderate injuries. Police say they currently don't have a suspect in custody, but the victims told them they think they know who the shooter is. And the BPD is looking for that person this morning. Meantime, many organizations are serving up a Thanksgiving meal to the less fortunate today. Two, we'd like to tell you about volunteers at the Mission working for several days to get ready for this year's feast, which will be served from 11 a.m. till 1 p.m. at the Mission located on East 21st Street. Organizers say everyone is welcome to come out and be a part of their family for the holiday. And Blessing Corner also serving up a holiday meal from 1130 until 230. And attention all parents, we don't want to spoil this trick for the kids, but be on the lookout for this turkey challenge. Here's how it goes. Kids text you a message saying, hey, mom, dad, how do you microwave a 25 pound turkey? Well, then the hilarity begins. The pranksters mock their parents' responses by posting screenshots of their conversations. But Butterball got the last laugh. That company tweeted out, quote, we started microwaving turkeys before hashtags even existed, unquote. So apparently you can microwave smaller turkeys. Be a little dry, I imagine. Let's bring in Amanda Mason, get a check of your great Thanksgiving forecast. Yes, and what's great is that our air quality has improved in AQI of 89 in the moderate level, and there is no burning unless re unless registered. And also, this is the temperatures we're cooking up today, a high of 63 in Bakersfield and possible rain chances throughout the entire county. And that's because of this lower pressure system that came off the coast of California into our county. And there's also another system that's following this one that may be coming in and bringing some rain tonight followed through Saturday and this is our 10 day forecast today a high of 63 low of 45. We're going to continue to stay in those low 60s until next week on Monday. We start to warm up a little bit more but bringing into Kern River Valley we're still going to see that chance of rain from Kern River Valley to Tehachapi and also in Fraser Park but for Kern River Valley it's a high of 58 low of 50 Tehachapi high of 52 low of 39 and then Fraser Park a high of 45 and a low of 33 something to keep in mind too that when these rains come in we are expecting some fog on Saturday and Sunday morning so if you're traveling this weekend make sure you stay safe outside and also have a wonderful Thanksgiving today. All right, Amanda, thank you for that. Those are some of the stories that we're tracking on this Thanksgiving. We'll have another update for you later today. Have a wonderful day.